Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and this is the fifth and final video on how to build a shed in SketchUp. Um, if you followed the first four videos, you should have a pretty good understanding on how to do all these basic moves. So we're going to move a little bit faster in this video just to finish everything up. So we built the, the wall structure and the rafters in uh, the first few videos. So let's just finish up the uh, the roof here real quick so if you remember we have this component copied over here so anything we do over here is gonna do the same thing on this side so what we wanna do is create a um, the sheathing uh, that's gonna go on the roof so I'm actually gonna build it outside of the component uh, to begin with you can do it either way and um, I'm just gonna do a rough size rectangle and just push pull it up to half inch and we'll turn that into a group and I'm gonna position this up to the to the top corner and then I'm gonna resize it um, to to what I need so I'll just lock it there and then with the rotate tool which is Q I will rotate it to the position it needs to be. You have to snap to a point with the rotate tool. So I'll bring it down there and then I'll double click it to open it up and adjust some of these uh, dimensions here. And then once I do that we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of this component, the roof component. So to do that real easily, I'm just going to grab the outliner. And so you can see I have the roof. I'm going to close the shed one there. So I have the roof and then I have this group here. And I'm just going to drag it right inside of this. And so you can see it automatically uh, showed up over here because we have the same component um, copied. So whatever's in this component is gonna copy into that component. So we basically just killed two birds with one stone. So I'll do the same type of thing with the back wall here. So I've got my first sheet of plywood here. Wanna make sure you triple click it and turn that into a group. We're not using components here because uh, we're gonna have to make these cuts to you know to follow the the roof uh, profile but while it's still a full sheet of plywood I'll just make a quick copy of it and bring it over here and I'll put a little bit of, of uh, space in here as well so to trim these uh, two sheets of plywood is pretty easy you just open it up and then you just follow the edge of the roof with the line tool and then use the push pull tool to offset and you've got you've just trimmed that sheet of plywood and I'll do the same thing over here now this last shape we need a triangle here but since we don't really have a good point to reference for this uh, top ridge uh, to make that triangle so we'll we'll just use a regular rectangle at first and then uh, cut that shape down as we go along. So I'll just make a, a generic uh, rectangle and just bring it out to the to the far extended points that I, I'm gonna need. And then once I have that I can go ahead and uh, trim everything. So let's go ahead and put that into a group first just so we know we're drawing on that point and then uh, drawing on that that object and then with the line tool we'll go ahead and uh, trim what we don't need and then the push pull tool will get rid of what we need and remember once you've done a push pull move you can just double click and it'll do the same push pull distance on you know whatever you double click on now one thing I just realized I forgot to do I didn't put a space you know I want to have an eighth inch space and um, technically in this uh, 
and this um, shed, I, I put in a, a drip edge as well. So I actually spaced it about a quarter inch and put in, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's actually an aluminum drip edge that I put in there because of the, the type of plywood that's there is actually rated for exterior use. But um, what I'll do is I'm going to actually hide the rest of the, the model. So I have a shortcut key that hides the rest of the model. If you don't have that shortcut key set up, you can go to View, Component Edit, and click this right here, Hide Rest of the Model. And then I'm going to just come down here and select this edge. And then with the Move tool, I'm going to make a copy. So hit Control. And then we're going to go up. I'm going to put an eighth inch. So I'm going to select that first, go eighth inch, enter. And see now that it divided that face for me. So now I can take this face and push pull that and then just delete these little tails that were left over. So always remember if you make little mistakes in SketchUp, it's pretty easy to, to go back and uh, change things around. So I want to go ahead and group that sheathing in with this uh, f the framing in the back. So I'll just go ahead and select all of that and make group. And before we do the same thing to the front, we'll grab a door and window component, which you can just grab from the, uh, the 3D Warehouse. If you go to File, 3D Warehouse, and Get Model, and then you can search for, for doors or or really just door and you can check out all the different types of doors that are that's on uh, the 3d warehouse and so you just grab one of those and um, you can actually download it directly into the model I'm just gonna grab this one here since I already have it so using the move tool you can position everything just you know hit the move tool and then lock your axis with the arrow keys to make your moves in in multiple steps you don't have to move everything in one step so I just moved it across the red axis and now I'm moving it across the blue axis and then I'll come over here and move it across the green axis so I wanna line it up with this stud so I'll just grab that corner tap the left arrow key until I hit that stud and then I want to give it a little bit of space so I'll back it out a half inch so now that you see where the door is going to sit you can go ahead and make the changes to to your rough opening and um, reposition studs um, so they in, and create your rough opening for the door so once you get your door and window components laid out to where they need to be and have your rough openings created with your 2x4s, you can go ahead and finish up your sheathing by filling in the, the plywood in between the windows and cutting out uh, where you need to cut out. So the last step is to create the rest of your rake, your rake board and your corner boards. So you can start out with just a regular uh, rectangle again I just usually start out with a rough size and then uh, ad adapt from there so I know my height or width for this board is going to be five and a half so I can define that and I know my thickness is going to be three quarters so I can define that and then I'll turn that into a group and position it to the center so lock to the green axis come up here snap to the center and I'll bring this up here actually I'm gonna reference I'm gonna reference one of these points here so I can rotate it so with the rotate tool I'll go ahead and bring that down to where I need it to be and then I'll enter into that group and use the push-pull tool to start making uh, the changes. 
So right now I'm just trying to get some rough sizes going. And once I start to figure out where it's going to be, I'll go ahead and make my, my cuts and my alignments based off of where everything intersects. So once you start laying out all the boards, you'll start to see, like I want to actually uh, have this move out three quarters of an inch because in the future, if you want to put shingles on the shed, you'll have um, you know room behind the rake board to put shingles underneath. And so I need to add another block um, in between here, like a one by three or something in between here. And then you'll see that this um, this fascia board needs to be extended out. So you can come into the, the fascia board and use the push-pull tool to come out to reference that. So you can just keep working here and build your gusset and your corner boards and you know as you're building it you can kind of figure out as you go along so that's what's really cool about SketchUp you get to design uh, what you're building digitally before you do it in real life so I'm not gonna go through step by step how to do the whole thing because this video will take forever but I hope I've given you the basic steps on how to do some of these angle cuts and rotating for the trim and and all the different details that way you can um, you can build a model like this yourself. And if you'd like to learn more about SketchUp, visit my website at mastersketchup.com.